Swiss Weltmeister. With Audi starting their project F1 way back in 2022 to take over Sauber in 2026 with the new regulation, Audi made a bold claim that they want to start fighting at the sharp end of the competition on debut and fighting from the back is not part of the target. With the news is coming out about senior personnel of the F1 project leaving the team, there were a lot of doubts about Audi's commitment to their F1 entry. But later the company confirmed that the project is in progress and things are working at full swing. The team was believed to face few hiccups with the new 2026 engine regulations, but recent news suggests that the team is pursuing the project at full pace. With Sauber's performance dwelling with pit stop issues in 2024, things look rather uncertain on whether the team would be able to meet their targets on debut. But despite doubts and speculations, the team is going forward with the project and as a part of the plan, the team is restructuring the Sauber management as a part of the grand scheme of things for Audi to have a smoother entry into the 2026 regulation with the team having a smoother working dynamic. Andres Seidel is working closer with the Audi group to make this happen at Sauber for Audi to have a stable platform to start their operations in Formula 1 from 2026, allowing the team to concentrate on the development of its car and powertrain than focus on fixing the issues of the team's operations and management. I believe in Audi, though nothing can be guaranteed till we see how Audi fares against its competition which would have a slight advantage because of being in the sport for a longer duration to know how the regulations work. But keeping Audi's strong pedigree in motorsports and the amount of pre-planning went into the Formula 1 project, there is very less chances of Audi failing miserably on debut. I expect Audi to be where Aston Martin is in 2024 on their debut, which I think would be a perfect baseline for the team to start working to move forward. At least that should be the minimum performance expectations from the team. Anything beyond that would be a bonus and the chances of having a better start than that would be less likely, it's not absolutely out of the realm of possibilities. Because let's not forget of Braun's nifty feature of exploiting the loopholes of the 2009 regulations gave them the upper hand over the field. So it's not an absolute write-off to dominate on debut. It is possible if the right people put in the time and the effort into the new regulation to find something that the competition might have overlooked. In terms of the team's driver lineup, Audi is looking outside its current driver pairing. The team is likely to choose between Carlos Sainz, Sebastian Vettel or Nico Hulkenberg. Sebastian Vettel is not a person that you want to write off, especially with his years of experience of tasting success in the sport and with him just testing with Porsche with their endurance car. With Porsche being a part of the Volkswagen group, I feel like it is all somewhere linked. So yes, Sebastian Vettel could play a similar role for Audi like how Michael Schumacher did for Mercedes. Sebastian also showed his interest of returning to Formula 1 if he has been given an attractive package. So he could absolutely make a comeback to Formula 1 if he sees a solid plan from Audi to contest for race wins and titles in a short term. So the plans are there with Audi showing interest on taking full control over Sauber by 2026. It also proves the interest and the commitment that the company has on the sport and its vision to taste success in Formula 1. So yes people, these are my thoughts on Audi's Formula 1 project. I think their target to fight for race wins and championships on debut with the new regulations might be a little bit difficult, but it's not absolutely and right off. Considering the advantage certain competition is enjoying right now in the current regulation, which is only gonna allow them to focus more on the next regulation to continue the streak. But again, because of bloody Braun GP, it's not an absolute write off to dominate on debut. So, yes, with that being said, I would like to wrap this video, guys, and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to the like button and let me know down in the comments on what are your thoughts on it as well. I'm curious to know. With that being said, subscribe to the Red Master channel if you haven't already, and also hit that bell icon while you're at it so you get notified whenever upload a brand new video and until next time it's me Vinesh from Redmaster and I'm out. Love you guys, stay safe, peace.